Okay, so we've created some tables and created some forms. Now we're going to move on to queries. Now queries are essentially questions you ask of your database. Now to do queries and to design and build queries, you need to go to the Query tab in Access and then click on New. Now I generally just go to Design View and click on OK. You can use the Query Wizard, um, however my exp explanations will show just using Design View. So click on Design View and then OK. Now here you've got to add the table you want to query, you want to question. So the only table I've got is the table stock. So I add that and then you click on close. Now don't worry if you click on add more than once, you can get rid of this and I'll show you how now. So click on close. Now to get rid of anything, any multiple tables you've added, click on the table on the blue bit at the top and then press delete on the keyboard and the extra one will vanish. Now the next step is to add the fields to your query. Now you can do this in a number of ways. You can either click on them and drag them down like that. Now just press delete to get rid of that. Or you can double click to add them one at a time. Or you can add them all by clicking on the table name at the top. That will select everything then clicking and dragging them all down. And that's what I'm going to do. Now if you run the query without anything in it, what it'll do is it'll just show you your table and all the data in your table. Now what I want to do is arrange that table by CD name. So what I'll do now, and all I'm going to do in this exercise is sort is I'm going to go to CD name and in the box that says sort here I'm going to select that and click on ascending for an A to Z sort or descending for a Z to A sort. Now I go to ascending and now all I need to do is either run that query or close it and then open it back up. So I'm going to run it now and you can see it's arranged the CDs alphabetically A to Z. So I close the query now, save it, yes, call it query, so Q for query and then um, sort CD name ascending and click on OK. And that's the first query done which sorts our data by the CD name. That's fairly straightforward, isn't it?